Hi, Tata. Hi, Kyle. What is this, uh... Magical elixir of fruit juices. everybody and today on a more serious note mike again back from uh hz autosport with kyle got the welding hat on today so yeah we're gonna get some shit done that's the plan speaking of a little red bastard there it is yeah all right but, so i believe kyle's plan today is to work on the seat tracks so if you can bring camera in a little bit here sure, take it. all right so next to this lovely cup of juice um what we see here before you are two hand fabricated seat rails so these are in to replace the factory rails which came up to you can kind of see right here so you can kind of see how high up the factory seat rails were so what we're doing here we're trying to lower the driver down and uh, move them back a little bit so this is the where the front rail used to be we're now back you know inch and a half or so but it's all the driving positions actually that get shifted back so these are two pieces of sheet and then I basically drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom and plug welded them out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's one of those. No, that's the rear one. Oh, either way, I can find that one. Yeah. So this is what the rear rail actually used to look like. So in comparison, the driver's sitting a good know, inch and a half. Maybe, I'll, yeah, probably about an inch and a half lower. Big improvement here. And then the front's pretty similar. So today, we're just, before I weld any of this stuff out, we're gonna do a final fit test. And then we will uh, drill the holes and use this nifty jig that I made um, out of some uh, inch angle, uh, just from Home Depot. Um, the only purpose is to get the pattern for bolting, uh, but it also levels. So when I first started installing these rails, uh, I had to tweak some of the tabs because we had a little bit of a wobble. Uh, but this frame is nice and flat, so it gives you a good reference to work off. So by doing a jig, um, we'll basically do a test fit. I'll mark the location of one of these holes on the seat track. And then um, we'll basically drop this, um, drop this jig plate on. Um, and then we'll locate all the rest of the holes off of that. Wait for you to video like that, and then I'm just gonna smash the crap out of my fingers. Like just, oh god! Dude, the blood splatter would be the epic. Humanity! That'd be cool. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're here test fitting the seat. Time to see how bad I fucked it up. Hey, <laughs> you probably did just fine. Well, he's finally finished welding in all the, uh, the seat bracing on the floor, so. Right now, it's just a quick test fit of the seat to double check. Yeah, so you can, you can see that in the front here, we've only got, you know, maybe a finger's width between the frame. And this is really just to angle the, the seat rails. Although it's probably Benji, since this is Benji's seating position. Oh, I... All the way back here. I think this is as far as we go. Yeah. What we're looking at right now, as you can see, there's plenty of headroom now. Let's just pretend there's a steering wheel right here. And there's some kids, and you're going to pick them up and then drive them on the bus. You might as well be driving a goddamn Peterbilt right about now. So, and by the way, this is, this is the stock column. So we have, what, let's say two options here? A is build spacers, put them right here to lower this down and put longer hardware in it to bring it down into a more natural level, probably what, right down here in the lap? Yeah. Which means we're gonna have to do a quick coupler wheel. We're gonna just put the tall shifter in it too. And burr, burr, burr. Well, you don't need a tall shifter now because you're so low. Right, fake that, come on, up here. Oh my God. Peterbilt. <laughs> 